Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy DJ Troy in the building. I hope everybody is good. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday. So let's get to it. Trending right now is, of course, the situation that happened at the New World Trade Center. Apparently, a couple of window washers got stuck on the 66th floor. So for those people like me who live on the fourth floor, it's a long way down for me. From the first floor to the fourth floor, from the fourth floor down to the first floor, it's a long way for me. So imagine getting stuck at 66 flight of stairs. Man, that is crazy. Shout outs to the NYPD, shout outs to the New York Fire Department who pulled through and saved those gentlemen. And today, two individuals are home safe with their family members and they're alive. Okay, it was a good rescue operation and everything worked out well. Trending again, of course, is um, Mr. Bill de Blasio. For those who are not familiar, that's the mayor of New York City. Apparently, he had a speaking engagement yesterday. Um, I think probably like two years ago, or I don't know the, the right amount of time, but there was a plane that crashed you know, in New York City, killing a lot of people. And what happened is that they were having the anniversary, and at a certain specific time, they were supposed to have a moment of silence. Of course, Bill de Blasio being the constant late person of New York City showed up late. Of course, the family members were livid, and you know, the mayor apologized. But the thing is that knowing what's going on with you know, all of these anniversaries and these things with so many people celebrating so much things that, you know, around Thanksgiving, I think it's critical that the mayor and his staff work better so that he could not be late for something so critical. Shout outs to Mayor de Blasio for apologizing for the family and I know that they were at least happy that he was able to make it. Next on New York's list is of course, the Knicks for those who aren't following sports right now is doing absolutely horrendous. They're doing terrible, okay? And last night was a reminder of it. The clock was down to the hour and one of the Knicks guard was supposed to make a shot but instead he, instead he chose to send the ball to Carmelo Anthony or not send the ball to Carmelo Anthony and the Knicks of course ended up being lose ended up being lose 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 Okay, they lost again, man. It's been horrible for the New York Knicks. It's just been a terrible situation for them. Kim Kardashian is also trending. Um, everybody is talking about a picture that she took, full frontal nude, back nude in a um, paper magazine. Now, for her being a model and these things, you know, it's understandable that you do certain things for your brand to be called out and people to know you, but it's just crazy. You're a mother, Kim Kardashian, enough already, but hey, it's nothing that we haven't seen. All we have to do is go to the Ray J tapes, go to Playboy, and voila, she's there. So moving on. Now, special shout outs to ODB. For those people who aren't familiar with this situation, Today, November the 13th, is actually the anniversary of um, Old Dirty Bastard's death. And shout out to the Wu family. I know everybody is missing him. And, you know, he for, for forever will be Mr. Dort McGraw. Yeah, shout out to ODB, Wu-Tang forever, boy. Now, moving on to my boy, the hood billionaire, Mr. Ricky Rosé. You know, I saw a picture of him today, man, and he lost a whole bunch of weight, which was crazy. You know, like, if anybody remember the old Rick Ross, you know, like, you see him on stage, check YouTube, see some of his performance, naked and big titties and big belly and these things, and, you know, he just threw off the weight and he decided to eat right and do what was necessary 
for his health. So shout out to Rick Ross. And, you know, just a side note, you know, to all my DJs out there, you know, your health is critical, man. You know what I mean? So me, myself, you know, I'm going to take a cue from Rick Ross and try to get the, the belly down, try to get the chest down, you know, lose some weight. Because, you know, what happens is that when you have those extra pounds, of course, your sugar level, your blood pressure, all of that stuff, you know, equals disease, equals cancer, equals stroke, equals heart attack and these things. So Rick Ross, thank you for showing the people out there that it's critical that you take care of your health and do what is important and what is right. So moving on to Mr. Ray Rice. As everyone know, Ray Rice was involved in a huge scandal. You know, there was this elevator video with him having a fight with his wife and him punching his wife out and he lost his deal with Nike and it was just a complete fallout where he got evicted slash removed from the roster of his team. Well, his wife is supposed to sit down and talk to Matt Lauer and I think that you know, this interview basically is to let the world know that she is okay, that, you know, she has moved on and everything is fine. So please give us our life back. Okay. We need our life back. And for those people aren't, who aren't familiar with, you know, the money situation with NFL players, Ray Rice is one of these guys who is constantly making that money out there, you know, who is doing pretty well. So the fact that, you know, he lost his job in the NFL means that his family isn't eating as well as they could, should, and can eat. And it's serious, you know, it's serious. Um, let somebody take away your livelihood and what are you going to do now? You know, what's the situation? You know, everything that you've worked for is done. So I think this interview is basically going to be about, hey, listen, Matt Lauer, yes, Ray Rice smacked the hell out of me. Yes, it was a terrible situation. But can you please forgive us, NFL? Can you please forgive us, forgive him, rather, fans? Can you please forgive him? you know, sports companies or whatever so that we could get our life back. We need our life back. We need our standard of living back the way it used to be. And that's all it is. That's all it is. So um, my opinion about it, you know, I'm, it's sort of mixed. You know, um, yes, there are worse situations out there where people have lost their lives and, you know, People have died and different situations has happened in domestic violence. So it's probably not the worst situation. So maybe the NFL should forgive him. Maybe we should forgive him. But whatever the situation is, again, I continue to wish them the very best. Now, for those who are familiar with the show called Cake Boss, that guy who bakes all those wonderful, delicious cakes. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, I'm a cake guy, so I needed a minute. For those people who like all the cakes, apparently he was caught driving while intoxicated, you know? And they arrested him, and he's being charged right now with whatever crimes. At the end of the day, people, the holidays are coming up. Look out for my holiday series. Um, I needed to put that in. But the holidays are coming up. You need to be careful on this road. You need to be safe in whatever you're doing. You know, think, of, think before you drive. Know your limit and these things because your action could really create situations where you have to live with someone's debt for the rest of your life. And not only are you going to be living with that situation, you're going to be behind bars. So please be careful out there. Don't drink and drive. You know, it's one, two, three. You had too much. Hey, take the keys. Hey, I'm just going to park here, get a cab, go home. Don't try to be, you know, Mr. Oh, I could control my liquor and 
boom, you know, somebody is dead. So, Cake Boss, I hope that this is a lesson that you learn and you move on. So, New York State, I'm going to end with New Well, I got a, two more things to talk about. New York State has legitimate, um, how can I say it? They have legalized in some way a certain percentage of marijuana. Now, for those people who saw the news conference, with the bag that, you know, the police commissioner had and says like, okay, if you are caught with this amount of marijuana, then you're going to get a ticket and you're going to go home. When I saw that, I was like, huh? That, that, that looks like almost, you know, like a hundred dime bags right there. You know what I'm saying? So... Some smart entrepreneur out there is going to say, okay, what's the cost of doing business? Okay, if I sell, you know, 10 of these bags, okay, and I get a ticket for $100, okay, what's, you know, what's the, you know, price in that? At least I made $900. So I know somebody is going to try to use this, you know, against, you know, the city or whatever you, but... The flip side of that, on the flip side of that though, the city is using this as a way of making money and lowering their costs. Because number one, if they incarcerate less people, that means that that's less money they're spending per capita on housing an inmate for something petty as, you know, a little bit of marijuana and processing these people. So, you know, they're going to be saving money. But the tickets that they're going to be bringing in, you know, that's going to be paid for is estimated to bring in over $3 billion for New York State. So it's a catch-22, you know. Whoever came up with this says, hey, listen, man, you know, let's let these people go with a little bit of weed. And in return, we bring in, you know, $3 billion for the city. Hey, it works out for everybody, you know, and, you know, it helps people to not have a criminal record and these things. So on the flip side of that, again, because there's always some flip side of something. On the flip side of that, there was a recent study that came out that says for people who smoke pot, okay, your long-term your long memory gets messed up, okay? So all my weed out there, of course, use everything in proportion. Don't go and smoke because, oh, you're just going to get a ticket. Don't go ODing on the weed, you know? Smoking too much weed can affect your long-term memory. On the flip side, of course, you know, good weed also helps with glaucoma. <laughs> so... People, you can win in life. There's always something, always another argument. Shout outs finally to the men and women who worked on the Rosetta um, satellite that landed on a comet, comet, sorry, C-O-M-E-T. And they were able to, you know, put this device that's almost, I think it's like 10 years away, literally. It's 10 years of time. So... When I was, you know, 20, when I was whatever age, I got to, in order for me, in order for you to get where that comment is, you got to add 10 years to your life. So if you're 20, you're not going to see that comment until you're 40. That's how far away it is from Earth. So shout outs to those people who had the ingenuity to be able to accomplish such goals. On Twitter yesterday, though, there was this hashtag that says we could land a comet on the moon, but we can't what? Okay, and, you know, there was a lot of things. And, of course, my biggest thing on there would be, like, we can't cure cancer. We can't cure, you know, high blood pressure. We can't cure, you know, all of these ailments that people are, you know, dying from, sudden infant, you know, death syndrome and all of these things. So... Continue scientists, entrepreneurs, all you guys that's working so hard to make the world a better place. Continue doing what you need to do. And always remember to take care of yourself, 
Be good to you. Have a blessed Thursday. Peace out. This is your boy, DJ Troy, in the building.